everyone. This is Lucas Ross Sports. Lucas Ross, your commentator, and we continue our 2022 college football predictions. The Oregon Ducks are up next. I'll give you an official prediction on this team, give you my thoughts on this team, and go through the schedule. We will go from there. But before we do that, let's look back at 2021 for this Oregon team. 2021, the Oregon Ducks went 10 and 4 overall. Um, really, an up and down season for Oregon last year. You know they. Or they played Ohio State out of the non-conference last year, and they beat them. But we thought Oregon was going to make the college football playoff last year. The season fell apart for them at the end of the year, and Oregon wound up not beating, you know, everybody else in the Pac-12. You know, they lost some Pac-12 games along the way. So a little bit, you know, they were up and down. I mean, they were a good team overall, but they had an up and down season. Offensively and defensively in the rankings last year, they were 42nd on offense last year. That's a number they can prove on this year. You know, could be a top 30 offense this year, but they have a lot of changes to the coaching staff. Defensively, 75, 75th in the defensive rankings last year. This was a defense that has a – this defense has – you know, this was a defense that had a lot of question marks the last year, but they wound up being pretty good. Let's be honest, they were pretty good, but not enough to be a top 30 defense. Points per game and opponents per game given up on the defense and, you know, offensively points per game, 31.4 points a game last year. That's pretty good numbers there for this Oregon offense. Defensively giving up 27 points a game, so that needs to be improved this year for this Oregon defense. And the offense and defensively, they both have quite a bit coming back on both sides of the ball, but offensively have a lot of question marks there, and then defensively they should be really good. But... New coaching staff, new head coach now for Oregon this year, and it's a little bit different. Here's that 2022 schedule for Oregon, and there's that opening game on September 3rd against Georgia in Atlanta. This one is a really tough challenge here for this Oregon team to kick off the year. Georgia, the defending national champions. Stinson Bennett coming back at quarterback, so who knows who's going to be the starter for Oregon? Who is going to be that starting quarterback? I think it comes down to the quarterback position this year. For this Oregon team, Bo Nix is coming over from Auburn, so I mean, who knows if he'll be the starter or not, but I just got to say, I don't really see Oregon defeating Georgia in this game. I know it's a neutral site matchup, but Georgia is a handful of a team this year. They have a lot coming back on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, they lose quite a lot, but Georgia, it's Georgia. You know, they're really good. They're talented on both sides of the ball, and I think Oregon does not win that game. I think it will be close maybe in the first half, but I think Georgia does pull away in the second half. But Oregon does take care of business against Eastern Washington next time, next week there after that Georgia game. And then there's that game against BYU on September 17th. Now, this is a game that they won't take care of business in. BYU has a lot coming back on both sides of the ball, a lot coming back this year. They're going to be a team that needs to be watched out for. BYU was a great team last year as well. So, I mean, BYU may be one of the top five production, returning production percentage teams in the country this year. And Oregon, you know, is going to have a tough game here. It's going to be a tough game, but being it at home, I think Oregon does come out with a win. I know it seems like it's going to be, you know, I know people think it's going to be a loss probably there for Oregon. But with it being home field advantage, i got to go with Oregon in this game. And I think they do get the win there against BYU. Next game on the road at Washington State. They open up Pac-12 play against Washington State on the road. Washington State has a lot of question marks on, on offense this year. Defensively, quite a bit coming back. You know, you know, quite a bit coming back on that defensive side of the ball for Washington State. It won't be an easy game, but I can see just Oregon going in there and, you know, basically their offense will step up. And I think they will defeat Washington State in this game. The offense is just going to have to get better for Oregon. But they do get the win here against Washington State on the road. Not by a blowout, though. I think it's probably just a couple touchdowns, maybe in there, maybe 14 points, 17 points, something in there like that. But Washington State just has a lot of question marks on offense this year, and that's why I have Oregon winning this game. Next game is at home against Stanford. Stanford is a team that I'm really high on this year, really, really high on. They almost returned everybody back from last year's team. Let's be honest, Stanford returns, you know, almost all their offensive players, all their, almost all their defensive players as well. The offense should be really explosive for the Stanford team. They have a veteran offensive group this year. And this one is at home for Oregon. It's a potential win, but I think I see Stanford, you know, going in there and pulling off a win on the road at Oregon. I think it does 
not saying it's going to happen, but you know, Stanford is just loaded. Let's be honest, Stanford is a team this year that I'm looking forward to seeing on the field. Stanford has a team that can make the college football playoff. We saw Stanford, you know, really, you know, defeat this Oregon team last year. We saw them defeat them, and Stanford, I think, can do it back-to-back -back years. But, you know, Stanford is a team to watch out for in the Pac-12 this year. They could wind up winning the Pac-12 as well and also make the college football playoff. But I know it's really early in the, in the year, but we still have, like, we're two months away from the college football season, but it depends on what happens in this game. And I think this game right here is going to be close, but I think Stanford does win. Then there's that game on the road at Arizona on October 8th, so not an easy game here as well. I said Arizona will be a game that I think this game right here will be a close one. I think it will be a game that Arizona could potentially win. But, you know, I think Oregon, you know, gets, you know, re redeems themselves after that loss to Stanford. But Oregon might be out of the top 25 by this point, maybe, probably. But I think they do defeat uh, Arizona on the road in this game. It's a potential loss, though. It's a game that you don't want to sleep on, though. I mean, Oregon is going to have some tough games this year. The, the Pac-12 is loaded this year. Oregon is not the same team as they were last year either. And they have a first-year head coach. So, I mean, it's going to be depending on what happens. And there's that game against UCLA at home on October 22nd. They get a bye week before playing this game. UCLA has the easiest schedule in all the Pac-12 this year, but they have to play Oregon, of course. And Oregon, obviously, I think they come in here with a lot of, uh, you know, hype in this one, and I think they do win against UCLA at home in this one. I think the bye week gives them the advantage, and also the home field advantage does give them the win. But it's a game that, you know, can go either way as well. You never know. But first half, I think UCLA does hang around, but Oregon does pull away maybe in the second half of this game. Next game is on the road at California. This is an, another interesting matchup. California is a team that, you know, has upset at Oregon in the past, you know, at home. But I really don't see that happening, to be honest. California is a team that I'm not really high on this year. They have a lot of question marks on the offensive side of the ball defensively. They bring almost everybody back, but, you know, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think Oregon does win on the road at California. I mean, it's a game that can go either way, no doubt about it, on the first half maybe, but the offense for Oregon should be really good by this time when the season comes around. I mean, it's a no month of no November now. They should be really good now when they get into the month of November. Next game is on the road at Colorado. Um, Colorado's a team that I'm not really high on either. I think they have a lot of question marks. Colorado has a tough schedule this year as well. I don't really see this team being all that big of a contender in the Pac-12 conference this year. This team has a lot of question marks on both sides of the ball. You know, actually offensively they bring quite a lot back, but you know, it's not going to be enough to defeat Oregon. I think Oregon does go on the road and defeat Colorado here. I know Oregon has a new first-year head coach, but I think these games here, I think Oregon is still a powerhouse team. They got a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. They're a great recruiting, you know, t school as well. So they have a lot of talent, you know, there on that roster. And then there's that game against Washington. This is where the games really get interesting here for Oregon. Washington is a team that returns a lot of talent from last year's team. They bring, you know, on an offense back that's really loaded, defensively loaded as well, but not loaded, but you know, quite a bit coming back this year. But Oregon is, this is a home game for Oregon. I think Oregon's going to be fired up in this game. Maybe this one decides, if, 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 if this decides the Pac-12 right here, maybe second place in the Pac-12 conference, it really depends on who wins this game. But with it being at home, I know the returning production advantage goes to Washington, but I got to give Oregon the win here with the home field advantage. I think Oregon's offense will be fired up as well. Defensively, they'll be fired up. So I think they come in here and defeat Washington at home. And then there's that game against Utah at home. So two back-to-back -back tough games here against two teams that you... And the good news is, though, they don't have to play these games on the road. You get Washington at home and Utah at home and Stanford at home. But these are games here that are going to be tough. You know, Utah is a team that was a great team last year as well. They have a lot of question marks on defense, but offensively they should be really good. But the home field advantage is there again for Oregon. I think Oregon does win this game against Utah. It's not by a blowout though. It's just a two it's probably just a 10 point game. Let's be honest. This could go either way. Utah could potentially win. Oregon could potentially win, but I gotta give Oregon the win here. 
I think the Ducks will win here at home against Utah. So Washington and Utah are back-to-back -back tough games at home, but they do win those. And then there's that final game on the road at Oregon State. Oregon State's going to be an interesting team this year. They have a lot coming back on both sides of the ball. This is a rival game as well, so I mean, it, this, is, this game right here is a game that can go either way. Let's be honest, it will be a game that can go either way. But with it being on the road, and also Oregon State with the home field advantage, returning production advantage as well, and also, you know, this game is on a Friday, but you know, this one really is a tough one to call, but I had to go with Oregon State with a big win. I think Oregon State does pull off a win against Oregon this year. I think it's not, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I think it will be a game that can go either way though. But the first year head coaching staff, I mean, it's really um, hard to depend on what Oregon's season will look like. But I think this will give them a loss here. I know it sounds crazy and all, but I think Oregon State does win. It's a tough place to play as well, so you don't really want to sleep on that game. And then that final prediction for Oregon comes out to be 9-3 in 2022. Not a bad first year for their first year head coach. I mean, it's a lot to improve on this year. A lot of things that can happen, but they can possibly win 10 games still. When they, if they win their bowl game, probably. But Stanford is a potential win. Don't get me wrong. This team can go 11 and, or maybe 11 and 1, 10 and 2, something like that. But Washington and Utah are also potential losses. This is a, this is a chance that they can go 7 and 5, but you never know. So, I mean, it's going to be um, hard to do. It's, it's really hard to predict Oregon's record every year, it seems like, because they're just a powerhouse in the Pac 12. But also, Stanford is a, game, is a team that you don't want to sleep on. Let me know what you guys think about this Oregon team down in the comments below. What do you think their record will be? And stay tuned here for more on Lucas Ross Sports.